Hi Bull Bakers! In Ireland at Christmas time, we eat something called a traditional Christmas pudding. Now, this is a steamed pudding rich with fruit and spices. Today, I am going to show you a bit of a big and bold version of that, and we are going to make a Christmas pudding ice cream bomb. It is really easy, and we're going to start out in a large bowl. So into my bowl, I'm going to add in raisins, cranberries, and chopped pistachios. Some cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Now this is the basis for any Christmas pudding. Loads of spices, fruit, yummy flavors. So into this, I am going to add the zest of one lemon and the zest of an orange. Now next, we want to give this something to soak up because we want all of those raisins and fruit to plump up and get nice and big. So we're going to add in some orange juice. If you want to make this a little bit boozy, you can also add in some brandy and it will just give it that extra kick and make it taste a little bit more like Christmas, if you know what I mean. And then with the spatula, just go ahead and mix it all together and make sure that the fruit gets covered. And remember, if you don't want to put brandy in here, just leave it out. Okay, lovely. Now what I'm gonna do is cover this in cling wrap and I'm gonna set this aside and let it marinate, soak up all that lovely liquid. So you can do it for a few hours. Preferably, you could actually do it the day before so it just gives it really good time to develop all of those flavors. So while the fruit is soaking, I'm gonna get started on my ice cream. Now you know this is my two ingredient, no machine ice cream recipe. Very, very simple. So all you do is whip up some heavy whipping cream. Now it needs to be heavy whipping cream because we need to get it nice and thick. Then just turn your machine onto a medium speed and whip it up for around three to four minutes until soft peaks form. So our cream is at a perfect stage. Next, we're gonna add in our cold condensed milk. Now this is a really important ingredient because it makes your ice cream scoopable. Then turn your machine back on to a medium speed and we're gonna whip it up again until stiff peaks form. So now the recipe for this ice cream bomb can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com and you have to head over there because I have got a whole section dedicated to just holiday desserts. Everything from cookies to edible gifts to show-stopping Christmas day desserts. So make sure you go check those out. Now you guys know that I have made this ice cream a lot and how fast it is to make and easy. So this is what we're looking for, lovely thick ice cream base. Give it a little taste. Mm. Next step is to add in all of our lovely fruit and spices. So just pour it in there into your ice cream base. You wanna make sure that you get every drop in there. So now all you want to do is turn back on the machine, low speed, just mix in all of these ingredients and stop. Okay, so it's all mixed in. It tastes heavenly. Now we're gonna put this into our pudding bowl. So here I have my pudding bowl. Now what you want to do with this guy is line it with cling wrap so it makes it really easy to get your pudding out. If you don't have a pudding bowl, don't worry. You can use any kind of bowl or dish that you have. So here I have my pudding and in it goes to the bowl. So this is a fantastic dessert to make around the holidays. You saw how fast it was for me to whip up and your guests are going to love it. So now what you want to do is just give this guy a little bit of a tap on the counter. What this will do will release any air bubbles. So you make sure that your ice cream is looking nice and even. Great, now he's ready for the freezer. What you want to do is just freeze it for roughly five to six hours or preferably overnight and then it's ready to be served. So now here is a Christmas pudding that I made yesterday so it would be frozen in time to show you. What I want to do is turn it out onto a plate, then pull off the basin and carefully remove the cling wrap. You can already tell this is gonna be a show-stopping dessert. Now, because it's festive and it's the holidays, I've got some holly and I have a few cranberries that I'm going to place around there for a little bit of color, just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. You can use any kind of leaves that you have at home, even ivy. I'm gonna put a little few on top, gorgeous. So now for just a little bit of an extra something, I'm gonna dust it with some icing sugar to look like it snowed. So now what you have is a simple yet big and bold dessert, perfect for Christmas. So when you have guests come over or you have a party this holiday season, take this out of the freezer and cut nice big slices for all your friends and family. This is definitely a show-stopping dessert that people will be in awe of. Oh my gosh, this tastes like my childhood wrapped up in ice cream. It's absolutely delicious. Reminds me of Christmas in Ireland. I really hope you try this recipe out. I know you're going to love it. Make sure you head over to biggerbolderbaking.com for every recipe you're going to need for this holiday season, from cookies to edible gifts. And I'll see you back here really soon for more Bigger Boulder Baking.